Allô tout le monde. Bonsoir, allô, allô. bonsoir. Welcome to Sassene. Yes, Holland and Orin. Welcome to Sassenu presents Creole Fundamentals with Alex Bruno Sakafet Sakafet. Anula Anuvini Pale Creole. Uh, ebe bien vini Alex Sakafet. Ebe moi la bonsoir. Comment oui? Moi moi bien moi bon. So no a Facebook live. Ika toi vai moi kagade. Ika toi vai. So anu ale Alex anu vini fe. Ebe vini pale Creole la. Ada omani ki mo kwe différent. E mo budi mo o invité Norin Joseph. Pour je no soi mo jatan voi mo kwe i. Mais si on est Norin, on est un grand monde, un grand monde de Creole Dominique. Je suis content de Norin ici avec nous ce soir. Norin, bonjour. Bonsoir. Nous ne pouvons pas voir où Norin. Nous ne pouvons pas voir où nous pouvons attendre où, mais nous ne pouvons pas voir où. Ok, tu as regardé. Ok. Tu as fait ça. Ok. Alex, nous ne pouvons pas Even Norin, Norin, we see on moon technology. He power millennial, me. Kawe boy, we we. Kawe Norin. Kawe boy. We Norin. Yes, nukawe. Ebe hula. Ebe bienvenu Norin. Merci pour venir à parler avec nous. Okay, ça pas de problème, pas problème. D'accord. Ebe sa émission numéro uno, number one. Avec la solution, ça nous a discuté contre manière nous a fait le programme. Ça, mon cas, changé le mot de la fond créole français à mes langages français. Le nom à très maintenant de garder nous compte ça. Il a fait en français et ça m'a dit bien d'autres désolé. Mais après ça, il change l'anglais et parler anglais. Il dit moi, il dit nous ça est seulement fois et qu'il a Très mal anglais, anglais comme ça, parce que nous venons ici, vous parlez français. Mais tu as fait un petit blague, parce que au face, pas ça, tout le monde parle en langage. Et avec ce village-là, seulement pour comprendre, pour nous tuer par le langage-là. Il n'y a pas de gens qui expect nous pour parler créole, ni n'y a qui créole seulement. Ça passe à fait. Nous ne pouvons parler anglais, alors, mais il y a pour nous comprendre, parler créole-là. Comme ça, Most of what we will say on the program will be done in English, but with a Creole nuance. And there will be times when I will translate, or Norin will translate, or Simone will translate expressions from English to Creole to assist the people who are following. So if you're a beginner, if you have never spoken Creole, this is the right program. This is the ABC in terms of understanding the language. We are not going to pete your tet how it used to be before because I grew up listening, trying to understand Creole, and it was like a pete tet. It was like a, a riddle, a, a ring game. Well, you can do that in Creole, but you don't have to, especially if you are a first time, if you are a novice. It can be a bit intimidating and it could scare you away, cover you away. So, with um, your permission, Simone, and with the guidance of Lauren. I and Lauren has been a teacher. I'm a teacher. You're a teacher. Mm -hmm. I would like to set down the parameters of how we're going to conduct our little sessions here. Absolutely. On, yeah. First of all, I'm not too sure whether you're going to give it a name. We, I, I think it is fundamental Creole fundamentals for yes, beginners, right? Creole fundamentals for yeah. beginners. Yes. Um. So what I would like to say, as th as the one taking the lead on this particular um episode, and Lauren could take the lead on the other one, or or Delia Weeks or Gregory Bess or Gordon or Philia, anybody, I think you should rotate. I I don't mind being the principal lead, but I believe you should rotate, and um different presenters might bring their own nuance to this to the um to the structure of the program, but I would like it to be. I guess the way that we are presenting it this evening. So, rule number one, in, or in terms of, of principle number one, and Norin, you can chime in at any time to, to give me support or to correct the way I present it if you would like, or you too, um, Simone, mm -hmm. um, is that we will deal with the Creole as a language and a culture, the language that speaks about the culture of the people. That is what we're going to do. And we're going to do this in a very professional serious and mature way. Creole is not only about laughs or for laughs 
or for VBLAG or for, for, for ease of expression. Creole is a very strong fundamental expression of the people. So that is one. So that idea of the conception that you may have had of Creole as being on lagage pour moun ki kemi pale sort, this is erased from the lexicon. It is erased from the psyche of Creole. Creole is a fundamental, very strong first language spoken by the people who 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 fused in Dominica. Before that, we had the Kalinago languages. English is not Dominica's first language. That's a second principle. Mm -hmm. English is the colonial language, the language of the colonizers, which became the dominant language spoken because of many years of re, of, of re, um, seasoning and rechristening. And we will talk about that in other lessons in terms of how the colonials allowed the language of Creole to take a backseat. So that is number two in terms of the languages of Dominica and the precedence in Dominican society. So number one, PSV blag, avec langage la. Yes, we will use certain terms as pun and point, points of references, but the gist of what we do here would be serious, or I should say serious fun. Mm -hmm. um, and the third principle is that um, um, Simone and Noreen, we are not going to emphasize too much on the written Creole. Yes, we will talk about the accents, especially Noreen. She, she has a very good knowledge of this, but we are going to be speaking about more more of the oral expressions and the emphasis placed on the delivery of this on the spoken word. Um, so I think I know Sonia Akpa teaches Creole. I, I believe at Yui. She you could invite her sometime to have a little different a little you know take on, on how we accentuate and how we write and so on. So I'm not going to be dealing with the writing as such because the writing calls for a uh, more intricate personal lessons which we can still do on on, on zoom or on, li on live but um i don't really want to get into that aspect of it, it My, was, um, to, to come in there alex as long as you get the rudiments the the the, 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 the alphabet of creole it's almost easy to write it as long as you got you have the alphabet it's almost easy to write it so if in in in, in our, uh you know delivery at some point we can give yes. the um, for the 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 the, the vowels a e i o u, and mm -hmm. we can say what that is. Then we can we can start from there. Um, sometimes uh, people think that um, Creole it, it's it's hard. It's not hard. It's not hard no. to write. It's not hard. It's just not hard. And 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 it's it's um, it as long as you put your mind to it and you know the alphabet, you have Creole because it's what you hear. It's, yes. it's just where you put the accent, the glove, and the the um the other uh, the act, the various accents that makes it the A and the E. A but and E. Uh, yes. Yes. So we will get into that too, um, um, Simon, at some point, in terms of how people actually do the write the writing or the written form of the language. Yeah, and, and you know, Alex, I'm so happy we're having this discussion tonight because when we started Sasenu back in October, that was one of the primary things we said we wanted to do. We wanted to promote the language of Dominica. And as a matter of fact, you know, unfortunately, Felix uh, passed on, but we were thinking of inviting him. But at the time he was, you know, too ill to be a part of our group. But I'm so, on, I'm so happy we're doing this to honor his memory and to honor everyone who worked to ensure that this language was preserved and we can now continue to promote our language. Yeah, and I am happy that you mentioned Felix here because if you seek to promote or sought to promote, in, to promote Creole, there is no better promoter of Creole that I can think of um, in terms of what he did for it to get it out of there. Um, so may he continue to rest in peace and may the spirit of the Creole angels carry him safely. Um, in, 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 in what Felix would have done for Creole is he created a, a sort of um, culture of different characters to help him sell the Creole to a population who were not interested in the Creole as a language, as anything serious. So he created um, lots of different characters. I am like Nini put my finger. Um, Naftanun was also a, a, a character which he used 
in an entertaining form to present the language to us. Uh, and some people say he did it a bit overboard in terms of everything Creole funny. But he alone knows why he did it that way for so long. Um, and now we have it today. So we thank Felix. We thank Felix and Frampton, Avan Rui. We thank all the Creole, all, even Velma Paul, um, Camilla Bellot sometimes. She spoke Creole. Um, um, Milia. Milia, and the, Milia. Yeah, mm-hmm. Milia. And all the Creole announcers, uh, McPherson St. Luce, Norin Joseph, Kewana Fontaine, yes, yes. Latricia, so they, Latricia. Latricia Cadet, yeah. um, Delia Weeks Coffee. These are people who have done a lot in terms of um, speaking Creole formally on radio and giving it the wings that it has today. So we honor these people. We get them, we continue to use them, but I believe that we need to um, formalize our approach to the language because growing up, I have been, con- I was very confused about what Creole really was. I was told it was broken, broken French, it was a dialect and all sorts of things until I understood that Creole was a language, a hybrid language created in the Caribbean, in Dominica mm-hmm. and in other speaking well, Creole countries or jurisdiction. And it came very simply, um, Simone, the Africans, when they came here, they wanted to, communicate with one another from different tribes so tribal people exchange words with each other and they form those words together so that they could understand each other that is creole it is a construction not a deconstruction it is the only language of its type on earth fusing many different idioms yeah and i'm from- happy you, i'm happy you said that alex because i too when i was growing up was told that creole was broken french and and phrasing it as broken french it almost um it wasn't something you were readily embracing because why would i i don't speak broken english why would i want to speak broken french the french people don't understand creole the people who speak french so you don't speak creole in france to a french person because there's a sort of a attitude french attitude a sort of french imperialism which even does not know that creole is a thing or would not even accept it because again of the story and the history of colonialism so it is an insult to say that creole is broken french and i have i grew up knowing that and selling that to people mm-hmm. but to but to um well I, w- I was born in creole that's that's the first word i heard when i when i when i when i started when i opened my ears when i opened my eyes the first thing i heard was creole because i was born in grand bay mm. now growing up there were there were people in authority who prevented the language to be spoken as saying that it would affect our english no matter what english do we speak whatever english is speaking is not the, the queen's english is dominican well i'd like so to yeah it, it, there is a there has to be a balance uh, now all our, our people before us are, are um kalinago the Africans and us. So that's that, that's the fusion of the language. Then until there was the, 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 the symposium and the whatever that Alex and, and Jamala and attended to, to 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 the linguistic part of it, to bring out the dictionaries, we were not we we, we were told that it was a patois. So up to now when you say to people we are not speaking patois and even very dominicans they sort of laugh at us but what do you mean you're not speaking patois it's patois why we had to say creole so we get away from that patois because people think that patois okay you're speaking you're jamaican but that's not what we speak mm-hmm. we speak our own language our first wow. language mm-hmm. and that we really have to preserve that or mm-hmm. else it's going to go down the drain. No, um, Simon Norin, you Norin used some very key terms, mm-hmm. which I had planned to introduce, but she introduced them: patois and creole, and the difference. Creole as a term was introduced by the colonials, which meant everybody born outside of the colonial mainland. So, if you were from England, but you happen to have been born in the Caribbean, in the West Indies, you were a creole you were creolized yeah yeah creole so, right. so they were white creoles and all sorts of different ethnic ethnic creoles so creole is not just a black thing it's a conditionality that the system termed so the preferred way to name what we spoke 
would have been that again in honor of those people who name it you say creole who named us creole not us patois is a different thing patois is creole as well but it's the colonial or the grassroots form of the language so people knew what we spoke as creole as patois the difference between the jamaican patois and the creole french patois is the base of the language and i learned this from a creole professor who i work with to mentor a master's student in terms of creole i, I, so I taught creole to a master's at master's level where the creole professor told me that the difference between the patois because there are many different patois patois patois, patois english patois creole patois french they yeah, use they use french base french the language as a base to ground creole so that's why there are so many french words and accents in the language that we speak mm -hmm. and that is the only connection french has with the language because you had to make it acceptable there had to have been a base upon which you speak the patois mm -hmm. And in the Jamaican Patois or the North Caribbean Patois, we speak that in, in Calibishi too and Marigot, and we tag that down the two our Patois. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We use an English base. So a lot of the words in Patois, which also come from Africa, Nyam, Tun, Tun, and those things, they are, they are Creole words, they are African words. So there is an English base to that aspect of the Patois. But they are just two variations of the same traditional languages spoken in Dominica and from the Caribbean. Yes, and before we continue, let's just acknowledge that a number of people have already tuned in, including one of our Sassenu members, Mr. Gordon Henderson. Thank you for being with us this evening. We also have Anfra, I believe the name is, Terry Collier, I am, uh, and uh, somebody, Alexander, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce the first name. But you know, we want this program to be interactive. So we yes. would like for anyone who is uh, viewing with us right now to, of course, like and share the program as we continue to promote our Creole heritage, especially our, our Creole language. But we also would like you to interact with us. Tell us about your experiences with Creole and just interact with the program as well. So Alex, go ahead, please. Mm. Yeah, so Creole is a significant contact point. And the final thing I would like to say in terms of our preamble to the program is that Creole is also a, the Kalinago language. Although the Kalinago had an expression before, and I had an interview earlier today with a Kalinago child, and I learned quite a lot from her in terms of um, the things that she said and how she spoke about her, the language. I, 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 I learned that Bati, B-A-T-I, means house. And I remember we say Nukai Bati Okai. We are going to build a house. To build Bati, yeah. yeah. So I'm wondering, where did that Bati there is come a from? There, when you listen, there is a program in the mornings with Stephen on DBS. Mm -hmm. where you, you get a, a, a Kalinago word. And there are certain words, when you hear it, it's, pure, it's, like, it's the same thing like Creole. It's the same Creole, it's the same Creole word. So that we know that there, 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 there is there a, a fusion. A, 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 yes, a fusion of all the, these languages. And, 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 and as well as there are certain places in, 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 in Africa, certain African places, um, well, I don't know if you call them countries or what, that, that, that speak the same language like us. So if you oh, live here, if you live to, and you go to this place and you speak, they're going to understand you because, of course, as you said earlier, it is the African, that was the way of communicating with each other because they, they, they changed them so that they would not be able to communicate. So they, they, they didn't have their language. So they had to find a way among themselves to communicate with each other since they all came from varied parts of of africa so Correct. yes Bati and, and 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 even we say boda and those sort of things the the, the creole the african the the, the, the Kalidago. Yes. but but <laughs> but in in um in the in, in the english patois jamaican tun tun is a word that is used to represent or to describe a, a, a woman female a female genitalia um but that is creole that is french that's african that word is authentic african and it says it means the same thing um yeah. so 
so so there's this connection and the fusion in terms of african and kalinago happened during when the kalinago assisted the africans who were brought here after the kalinagos had been living here for hundreds of years before yeah, they taught right. them how to survive and they the the, the the kalinago chiefs and the african warriors chiefs who ran away they met in the heights of bells and other areas and they communicated so that's how the language got crossed that, yeah, that's right so you had to communicate Yes, so that's how Bati becomes house and Bati becomes built. That is where exactly the language got crossed. So we have a very significant and very powerful tool called Crayola that we have to harness properly, package properly, and sell properly. The people have used it very well and honor. But what we had not done very well is to claim it, to package it, and to sell it. Like what the Jamaicans would have done with reggae, what the Trini would have done with Calypso. These are all African idioms. In Dominica, we started it with Crayola. Menule say sa, I don't mania paske. We I don't think make spend enough time to understand the significance of claiming and owning. The, 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 the type because we would have started in Dominica, Jeune Creole, and, and the expression Creole and International Day, Creole Day. Um, yeah. what, what do Creole. we have to, yes, yeah, Simon yeah. Creole? What do we have to show for it? So it is not too late. We have Creole, Creole Music Festival. I remember when we got started, as you said, Doreen, we did workshops. We had a major Creole, Simon Creole. It was part of yeah. the, and we had different art activities like um a symposium in creole entirely which, which yeah which is what it, the whole thing was supposed to be during the week you were supposed to have the symposiums it, it, it never really got off and, and so therefore that's how the french the french bed, um activity which was creole in the park that's how it became the thing because we had nothing to 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 to, to, to put in there yes in the symposium place so that's how it all came about well, but, we had. But if I could, if I could add as well, though, Alex. But it seems there is um, quite a bit of hope because I was listening to all the programming surrounding Felix's uh, passing, and one of the things I heard was that there's now a pilot program in the schools for Creole promotion. Good, c'est bon. Yes, I have. I, I it's good. It's fantastic. Yes. yes. So do it, and mm -hmm. also formalize Creole in parliaments too. Also formalize Creole in government buildings and government institutions. Mm -hmm. And also start the, the Department of, of Culture as fully Creole, as a second or first language, as promoted in the, in the cultural department. And make it Dominica's formal native language. Or make Dominica bilingual or trilingual. English, Creole, Kalinago. Yes, develop. Cop we have, Cop to, Cop yeah, we have to create an industry of what we have. So you talk about government policies. We are not into policy. We are teachers. And we will bring these ideas up in this little introduction to the lessons that we're going to do. And people do not feel, do not worry. We're going to teach. We're going to talk about the language. But you have to build the foundation of where we want to go. So anybody who replaces me, the, the, that basis is already set and whatever we do even when we start laughing and having fun it is built on that structure the foundation that we are creating for the language here. and if i might also add as well you know in speaking with uh, gordon henderson one of the things that he said was part of his success was simply due to the fact that he spoke creole it took him around the world because there's so many places across the oceans that speak a similar Creole that he was able yeah. to capitalize on the fact that he spoke Creole and it opened up an entire world to him. So there is opportunity to cap yes, capitalize on it, it, us being bilingual Creole and English speakers. And um, again, go back to Dr. Kadli, wonderful professor, beautiful man from Haiti. I mean, I sat in the examination room with him, so my student had to be examined on that same day as his student. And uh, he called me Professor Bruno. Um, and we speak, he's speaking um, Haitian Creole. I'm speaking, well, again, I do not like the term Haitian Creole. He's speaking Creole, and I speak in Creole. Different attitudes, and he understands every word I say. I understand every word he says. So there are people who say, oh, the Haitian speaking a thing I don't understand. They do not make the uh, effort to grab from the Creole that thing that connects all the Creole 
and that's the little problem. People scoff, they, they scorn on the Haitians, and so wrong, mistake. The Haitians have done for Creole what we should have done for Creole or should be doing for Creole. So we just have to come together, communicate with them, and have a nice, um, hybridize the expressions to give the Creole plea force. Because Gordon is quite right. When I go in places to places and I meet Creole people, that is what I use. I, and I've always said that Creole is my first language. And I, I learned to speak the, um, the colonial's language. And the important thing about the Creole person is that you must learn to speak English better than the English person, or try. Because that is your strength. So do not say, oh, that's not important. And the reason why our parents and the grandparents told us do not speak Creole is because they were told that Creole is a downtrodden language. Um, so it was not their fault. They didn't want but, us not to, not to know it. Do you imagine that they spoke to us in Creole, but we have to answer them in English? In English. Because we couldn't, we, we couldn't speak the language. I've heard that so many times. Now let's, yes. let's just acknowledge a few of our viewers. Um, Andrina Philip, Nawa Scotland, Kathy Lander, uh, my friend from back in the day. Kathy, thanks for being with us. Felix Rose, Marshall, Marshall. So thank you so much for being here. And again, it's an interactive program. We want you to jump on in the discussions and also to share, share, share this program as we promote our language. So thank you for being here, everyone. Good. And the final thing before we spend the next few minutes, because I timed this first session to 45 minutes. Um, so we have another 15 minutes. Keep it mm -hmm. nice and short and neat. Yes. Uh, maybe an hour for the most. An hour. Uh, I think we can do an hour, Alex. Uh, again, it's you, you're the producer, but yeah. you know, I, I think yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Um, the final thing is that the reference text is going to be this book. Um, that's the Creole the dictionary. Second, Creole. Uh, dictionary Creole. The second dictionary. That's the second dictionary. Second, yes. Now, can you purchase that Creole. book, Alex? Uh, you're gonna have to ask Gregory Rabis. I am. Okay. I was told that they is a book in the works in terms of a Dominican um, Creole text. I anxiously await it, but in the meantime, you see how this one is really used? Yes. That's my reference text. Well, I have this one. This is the only one I've, I've ever had. Oh. And I got this one back in the 90s. My mom actually purchased it and sent it to me when I was off of college. Mm -hmm. and, and what I've been doing, I've been adding notes at the back as I'm learning. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Good. Well, that's a good text as well, Norin. Oh, you that's have that one. same version. That's the first one, Norin. But I need this one. So that's yeah. an, that's um, the visitor's guide to Quail. Oh, okay. Mm. And that is Lecon Quail. And then that's the, 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 the same version like you. And there's uh, the, uh, the there's another paperback, another bluish mm -hmm. dictionary, the first one, and the good. second one that came out. Mm -hmm. Good, wonderful. So that is going to be our text. Or so we could use the different. Well, again, Norin has a bit more of the material than us, so we're going to. I will lay with Norin in terms of preparing the lessons moving forward, and we're going to use that. Um, yes, there, and let me just let me just jump in on a comment someone made real quick, Alex. Um, mm -hmm. It's from Neil uh, uh, Lenin Esprit, and he says the idea of making Creole such a fundamental part of our lives all the ways as Powell, I mean Alex, <laughs> mentions, mm -hmm. is paramount for our place in every smaller world. That is our identity. So very well said, Neil. Thank you for your contribution. Yeah, well, thanks. Well, well you know there's no co coincidence in calling myself Powell. Um, again, it's Creole, it's powerful, it's expression, it's words, it's everything that you think. So I thought very long and hard when I gave myself that name. So it, it really, and I had no plan to be teaching Creole or to be involved in this. So it's just part of me. It's just who we are. And like Felix, I didn't speak Creole until a late age in my life. Mm -hmm. But I, when I understood the significance of Creole, and remember my great-grandmother, Mama, Mama Melia, she only spoke in Creole, in a kind of a Creole that I will never forget. Um, but, and that was in my earlier days as a boy. And when I came to Roseau, I, I heard Creole, but I didn't readily identify with it because it was like, a bit uh, to me strange because that's not how my great grandmother spoke it to me um and now i understand in retrospect what why it sounded so different because again felix and the group had to get involved in getting the creole on radio but to get it on radio you had to kind of uh, play a, 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 an african trickster story with it to to, to lighten it <laughs> trivialize it uh, you know um to get it there but it got there now we can revert to the day to the ways of our great grandmother because when she spoke Creole to me she didn't laugh she was very strong and that when she wanted to make a strong point she spoke Creole to me and um, I use Creole 
as a as a tool when I need to get into a text that I don't quite understand. So if I'm studying and I do not get it, I read the words English and translate it in Creole in my mind, and I get it better than that. I get it better after that. So um, Creole is just a fantastic, serious, potent tool. So this will be our reference text in tribute to Jamala and the others and Felix and so who have passed. Um, I will, of course, also make reference to the Haitian Creole Dictionary and St. Lucian Creole Dictionary, but I, I did not... St. Lucian Creole. Yes, yeah, St. Lucian Creole, but they're not going to be the... The go, they are not going to be the reference text. I, I will not reference anything but what is written about Dominica Creole or Creole practice here in Dominica. Although we understand how we network the Creole, but our reference will be forever Dominica. And I'm hoping that Greg's and the guys develop the other, the other text. So we use it not just on this program, but in schools. We should have Creole being taught at schools by school teachers and people like Noreen who have a bit more time on their hands right now. Contract <laughs> Noreen for a year or two yeah. and let her go teach Creole for all the I did. I taught. I taught Creole to the, the the Japanese volunteers who came to Dominica when they to the uh, Japa. So I was teaching then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm looking for a job. So I, yeah. I, I'm available. And it's not much. A year paying her in a couple hundred, three hundred thousand dollars a year. I mean, mm -hmm. we pay somebody five hundred thousand dollars a month. Paying her in a, a half a million dollars and let her teach the entire network in terms of students around Dominica. Uh, and not just Noreen, other Creole people like Delia. That is what we have to do if we really want to get serious. But first we need the text and the syllabus. For our course here, we do not need a, a written syllabus per se, but we will plan as we go along and we will let the people know what we're dealing with and we will deal with it in terms of the, the foundations that were set by the other Creole um, speakers and um, ex exporters or exponents of Creoles. So that's it in terms of the introduction to the program. I don't know whether Noreen has anything else to add before we get into a little spoken form. Alex Alex contribution Mm -hmm. I so agree. Oh. Now, now, Alex, also that um, attachment you sent me was so helpful because it's mm -hmm. just a very simple expressions for beginners. And yes. I've been going over it and it is very helpful. So what I've done, I've created a Google Dropbox mm -hmm. and I'm saving all our material so we can compile it and move from there. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Is there any way you can share that? Um, yeah. Yeah. That... Okay, yeah, I so can I can probably create a document and, and share it on Facebook so others can okay. learn from it. So would you be able to share it tonight on so people can no, actually? No, unfortunately okay. no, because it's on my oh. iPad. Mm -hmm, no problem. But in the future, so, that's what I will do before we get started for the, the, the lesson. Yes. I will be sure to share it. Okay. So it's gonna be we're gonna deal with that now. It's on page eleven and twelve. Mm -hmm. I got it. Got it. Noreen also has the text. So Noreen, the well the well, we dealt with the official lesson already because everything we discuss is part of the Creole. But in terms of the actual um, exchanges, we are going to deal with the, the simple sentences in Creole. I think it's on page 11 on the reference yeah. text. Yeah. I got it. And we're also going to be dealing with days, month, numbers. Wow. We hope we can get through all of that tonight. <laughs> Actually, um, Alex, just before yes. we move on, in the very dictionary that I have in my hands, mm -hmm. I do have... I do have a lesson plan. You do. For Japanese Overseas Corporation Volunteer, JOCV in Creole. Good. I do, <laughs> have, look, I do have a lesson plan. 
Yeah. We will have a lesson plan. We have a lesson plan too. I just don't, I just have not shared it, but we have a lesson plan for this thing too. Um, Simon, because right. I don't so, I don't play around when I do stuff. So I have we have a plan. I mean, I can share the plan with you. I will yeah, because yeah, yeah. I am I am suggesting that you have other presenters too. I mean, I would like to be, you know, at least for the first few to yes, really set yes, a nice yes. structure. But yes. you could we could have guest presenters from people that from here. That is the idea because I even thought of maybe like Melia from DBS and yes. Delia. And we have so many Ophelia. prominent Ophelia, Gordon ha Anderson, Gordon. Yes. I get Haitians too, Haitians and people from Seychelles and mm -hmm. even Trinidad. Get different people yes. to come and chime in. This could be the beginning of, a, of something good. Yes, and, and it's just about embracing, you know, I keep going back to the theme of our independence celebration because that is one of the things that sparked my idea to do, you know, Sasenu on Facebook Live. It's about embracing the technology and the theme was embracing new opportunities and Facebook and the internet is the opportunity we need to get this out there and to be able to invite others to be a part of this uh, promoting of our culture. Yes, and there's no better time than this time to do mm -hmm. so. Yeah. All right. So we are going to do some simple sentences and we are going to look at the days, months, mm -hmm. and the days of the week, the months of the year, and a little bit of number. What you will do, um, Simone, as a follow-up, you will place, you will um, upload the page mm -hmm. so that the people who are looking at this live could go back to from yes. on your on your site and I guess on your Facebook. Um, yes, page. on my push past 10, I'll, I'll upload it. Yeah, so the people could actually see the sentences. So we're going to read the sentences, um, talk about the pronunciation, um, and move on from there. Noreen, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, we're not seeing you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. There she is. Noreen, you're quite a beautiful farm creole. You know that, right? Makatanu. Makatanu. Nupakatanu. <laughs> so to so to are you, uh, Simon. You're quite Thank beautiful. You. From I Creole. appreciate it. Yeah, and um, Creole, as as we said, is not what is spoken. It is just an entire movement. You could see somebody who can know that they are Creole from a mile away. Mm -hmm. It is just a gam, a manier, a manève, a de vivre. Mm -hmm. It's a spirit. And, yes. Mm -hmm. Noreen, we're not hearing you. Your your mic is muted. So we're trying to get Noreen's audio going. Yes, Noreen, you're muted. Did she do a rehearsal before the before the program? No, I find she's okay. a little bit shaky. Yeah? <laughs> All right, <laughs> Alex, leave me alone. <laughs> Noreen, next time do the rehearsal eh, before the program, eh? Because I find you a little bit shaky, <laughs> like a country bookie. <laughs> we'll just have to Noreen can contribute, okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let me tell you that. Um, we have back to the, one of the people. Who is now deceased, of course. Marco Deron was a person who really wanted the, the Creole to move to go places. She, I remember that verse: "Kisa yoka di, kisa yoka di, Creole paka moisi. Kisa yoka di, kisa yoka di, Creole paka moisi." So Marco Deron, long ago, that is what she wanted. That was her vision for Creole to be spoken as our first language. Mm -hmm. So we, there are a lot of people before us we have to big up yes. because they were trying their utmost. Mm -hmm. Ma Orion and Matutu and this gentleman called Edward Oliver Libla. Oh, yes. Libla? Oh, yes. yes. Um, they had this idea that again was ahead of the time. And again, I spoke with Libla. I had a discussion with him. And there's a lot of reasons why Mr. Libla not really left this in prematurely because he had been on for a few years, maybe 15 years already in politics, but he had very strong cause to believe that his vision had not been embraced, even almost after 20 years. Um, so he too had this idea of a Creole formulation for Dominica. And in 1967, his government policy brought about this renaissance of Creole that we're enjoying today in terms of the packaging of the Creole, the celebration of the Creole, the, the, even the competitions and so that we do. It came from Liblan's Creole renaissance. We need another renaissance in, um, in Creole, in the expression. And interestingly, we have another person from the part of the community of the country that Liblan was from. As the chief executive of Dominica, it would be so nice that his legacy also merges with Liblan's legacy to give the Creole that that admin, administrative um, push or cushion or foundation that it needs to continue to grow. 
You see what I'm saying? Um, and this is not even political or partisan. This is just real grassroots. And anybody who does it and can do it is good for the next generations of Dominicans. Because in 50 years from now, Makela. Makela, I'll see. No, I do not think that I will live my grandmother's age. She died at 103. Um, but there will be people who will say, oh, those people who lived a half a century ago did a lot of work to give us this Facebook live thing and now we can go back to it and see how that creative thing started and they could pass it on to others. That is Definitely. all I want to do. That's all Simone wants to do. That's all Norin wants to do. That's all Liblin wanted to do 50 years ago, 50 something years ago in 1967 and, and Macaulay and the others. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. So maybe... So I have my maybe, notes. Right. So Norin, I think the lesson today is on page number 11 and 12 pages 11 and 12 uh, we're dealing with simple sentences mm -hmm. okay and the days of the week months of the year and what simone is going to do she's going to upload it on her push 10 website push past 10 push past 10 so people could actually see the lessons and we hopefully will interact a bit more with them when we when we recap the lesson on the next session which is next week wednesday i would imagine yeah we'll, we'll talk about it we might have to oh, put it to thursday but we'll talk about it okay cool mm -hmm. lauren is your first sentence what is your name mm -hmm. my first sentence yes on the, right. in the simple sentences okay Saki so, no. Saki no. So that's the right pronunciation. Saki no. No. Saki no. Yeah. And it is spelt as pronounced with. Uh, that's correct. And what exactly what you heard? Mm -hmm. So it is sa s a k i n o n apostrophe w. W. And that the k is because in Creole, in the alphabet, we do not pronounce. We don't have k. I'm C. C. So we have K. We no, we don't, don't have, have C. C. We don't no. have C. No. C doesn't exist. It's K. Real. And we don't we don't we don't do R. We do W. Mm -hmm. So these are some, some, some things that we need to let people know. So uh, whereas the, 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 the Haitians all would say Creole, we say Que. And Quayle. we don't say we don't say radio, we say Wadio. Because we, yeah, we get yeah, and you have to be willing to exercise your mouth. I realize that you have to be able yes. to do so gymnastics you with your mouth. No, you have to exercise everything when you're speaking Creole. Yes, Creole has it's, to come from you. Yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's a gum. It's it's a it's a everything. Spirit. It's like yeah. where when you wear in the duet, you just feel different. Is the most and the, and the sensei too, the sensei as well. Yeah, yeah it is. It is the it is the most expressive exp um, form that you can know Creole. It gives you strength beyond. If you want to say something that you cannot say well, say it in Creole. You will say it well. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Um, Creole, and, and Creole does not sugarcoat. It does not embellish. So, yeah. um, someone who steals, there are different ways to say oh, uh, vole. um, shoplifting, uh, whatever. In Creole, is a vole. You know, you um, know my, you know my favorite expression, um, Alex, that really brings it home for me. When you said, "Tell somebody in English, I give this person a piece of my mind." In Creole, you say "ma bam, Monsieur Sala" or "je me pui." Yeah. I mean, that just it's just a spirit <laughs> that, that I get from a piece of my mind. That says nothing. "Ma bam, or je me pui." Ma bam, ça c'est pas supporté. Ça c'est pas supporté. Another one. All right. Um, sentence and, number two. And, and, uh, and it's the expression, your facial expression. Yeah. Yes, your body speaks in Creole. Your entire body speaks yeah. from your head to your toe. Another expression that we would like to do is, um, my name is Paul. Paul is used as an example here. Um, Kimon, um, Simone, can you try out this one in terms of oh, yeah. my name is Paul? Sure. No more say Paul. No more say Paul. And is N-O-N, no more, as pronounced M-W-E-N, say S E. With the acute e acute, on the, e and acute. the a to make the e acute the e make, makes with the accent accent acute makes it sound a a mm. and the aguav makes it sound a e a so so e turns to a and a based on the accent which we got from French the base so we use it to give different so belle will be b e l e with e. the aguav Shit. accent on both. Mm -hmm. Um, say would be E with the acute. Mm -hmm. Again, those things we can do in lessons, but I don't want to go through all of that little thing. Let's just do it as yeah. we go along. Mm -hmm. 
Next sentence is. Sakilaj. 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 Yes. Meaning again as pronounced. S A K I L A J O U. Sakilaj. What is your age? All right. Very simple. Again. Oh, um, you I'm, may just. You may. You may also say. Kilaju. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kilaju. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You can shorten it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, um, Mweni Ven Nane. I yes. am 20 years old. Again, Mwen, say Mwen, M W E N N I N I V E N V E N Nane with a N A N N with the same acute over the E to make it A. Mweni Ven Nane. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's go. No, and then, bonjour, oh, oh. monsieur. We we'll know this one. Bon après-midi. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Let's do a little mm -hmm. one Bonsoir, that's a little Paul. bit more complicated. Bonsoir, Bonsoir Paul. Huh? But you know, um, you're saying to do complicated. But remember, they are first beginners. First time I'm beginners. Sorry, I'm sorry. So we don't go complication. We go step by step for everybody. I know it's a, it's, it's below your your career level. Don't show off. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I've been learning so much because we've been doing Sasenu, so I'm always mm. practicing in my head, and I think I'm getting better, but it just be my, it might just be my ego. That's the next one. That's because the, it's right because, there. Because there are people from Margot. I, I saw a lady says, a lady, she posted on Facebook, where can she find a, a Creole lesson? I didn't tell her anything. But I'm hoping that this re, this broadcast will be interesting to her and she will join us next time or she will comment under the live um, because this is for people like that. So um, although it's basic, but let's keep it basic until we go a bit more advanced. All right, Miss Teacher Simone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, we where are we now, Noreen? Hmm? I said, we miss you. Funny problem. Um, where are we now, Noreen? What is your nationality? Mm -hmm. The exact word I asked her, then I say on Dominican. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. We normally oh, use those things to rhyme and say Domni No. Mm -hmm. Because our weche is a fish that devours uh, people. We don't do that to, to our identity. Alright, so I I no, 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 no. Those little no. Monsieur mm Domni -hmm. I'm very proud to be who I am. And you I feel it, it in your heart when you say Domni Yes. Yes, certainly. Very powerful. All right. Mm -hmm. I am a Saint Lucian. How do you say that one? Monseigneur Saint Saint Lucien. Saint Lucien. Saint Lucien. Saint -Lucien. Saint -Lucien. Even yeah. if you have a U there, but it is L U C I A. So it's Lucien. Saint Lucien. Saint Lucien. So, so we go very soft on the U. Mm -hmm. All right. And again, it spells the same works. Um, um, Simone is going to put it up on the push past ten side, and you could read it there. Mm -hmm. um, next term is Kisa Ouvle. What do you want? Mm -hmm. Again, same spelling. Yes. Kisa U V L E to make it A acute. Mm -hmm. Next, I'm thirsty. Mm -hmm. More, more. Is it more? Um, more you can swept? say more because according to where you're from, for instance, Grand Bay, Grand Barians will say more. Mm -hmm. For Michel people will say more. The, 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 the majority of them, they can say more. So yeah, that's what I, I, was, I would say more. I would say more. So depending well. on where you're from, mm -hmm. where, you say you you say there's certain words you say a little differently. But what is and the difference between more you know, and more? more? It's the same thing. Same so thing. More. Some I more. I say more. I say yeah, my own. I would say more because my great grandmother said more, mm -hmm. and I felt more was not sounding right to me. It never did. And I learned more in in, in, in Rosu. That's what one of the little things I said. But my grandmother said more, and they say more. Um, more. So I, I do not know how they, I don't know how they came about. But I I am a, I prefer more because of my um, background. And yes, my, let's just take some comments from the live. Um, Celia Douglas says very interesting. Bonsoir, uh, tout monde, ja Dominique. Um, Shannon, thank you for stopping by to watch. Uh, Marshall says good evening. Over the years, I spoke much more than I wrote. Inconsistent or variable spelling, the main reason. The main reason. So he's just adding a contribution to yes. the discussion. So thank yeah, you for your yeah, contribution. Yeah. And what he said is the inconsistency in the spelling and so on, which is a problem that Gordon has with the language. 
and I understand it. We have to standardize it and make it standard across the Creole world. Um, but if we have a tradition in Dominica, we have to work with the tradition that we have. We just need to place it on a proper platform. Um, so that's why I did not go too heavy on, this, on the written but the oral, because even if you do not write it right well and you say it well, that is that is fine. Mm -hmm. We'll get to the writing eventually, but now let's get to the to the grabbing the, the essence of the language. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a big one. Bamwe, oh Lord, give me some water, please. I, it helps when I say it in English first. Bamwe tibwe glosuple. Fantastic, Noreen, she's Bamwe, great. Tibwe glosuple. Yeah. But what you must go to play? Give me some but, water. Gonna, but, no, in English, can I have some water, please? please. I so much talk. <laughs> but what you must go to play? Mm -hmm. But do not count. Same, same. And, and, have... and, and, and you express that because you're yeah. really thirsty. Yes. But what you must go to play? You cannot count it. But I'm going to know. But what you must go to play? It's easy for you, Alex, because you've been doing this for, for a long time. I'm going to play. It has to flow like water. Yes. Yes. Creole generally flows. And the quicker you speak Creole, is more effective it is, but you don't have to speak Creole quick. Mm -hmm. People like DB and those guys from Grand Bay, they have mastered this. Yes. <laughs> Slow down. Right. Especially speaking to somebody who's not a non Creole speaker or Haitian. If you speak slowly, you'll get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just let it flow. Mm -hmm. All right, and it's the same spelling, the souple with S O U P L E accent acute on the E. More more or some people say more fin. I am hungry. Mm -hmm. And the swift term, we can talk about that because that is twisted too in some other cultures. And yes. in, again, we do not, we can understand that as grown ups, but we don't have to get into all fun with the language. Mm -hmm. U swift, u swift, you want water, and that's what the only swift. That's, that's what it is. That's, that's what, what it is. is. That's the only but, thing we know on that but, program. But Alex, we're talking about culture, you know. That's what it's <laughs> culture. Why? <laughs> we live that alone. <laughs> live that. Okay, okay. Moka, moka ale manje, manje. What? Moka ale manje, manje mo. I am going to eat my food. Moka yes. ale manje, yes. manje mo. Yes. Wow. So, manje twice. Moka ale manje, manje mo. Yes. Okay. Okay. Moka ale manje, manje mo. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going, going to, to eat. eat my food. Exactly. So, eat and food are the same words. Yes. Manje, manje. yes. Yeah, but yes. the the adjective of food come before, come after the food in Creole. Right. So what? So that's why you have manje, manje, back to back. Mm -hmm. But in English, I am going to eat my food, eat and food. I presented the same in Creole, but the the adjective of food comes after. That's mm -hmm. why you have food, food, back to back to back. So when you write in the Creole, you have to remember that rule in Creole. C'est la porte là. Mm -hmm. The door. Oh, okay. And I think God made that example sometime. Yes, that was very up. helpful. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Next so, um, yes, Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Where are you going? Where la uka ali? Where la uka ali? Where la uka ali? Yeah. Where la uka ali? Yes. Yeah. Question. So, where la will, uka ali? You, mm. so you got it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Again, with mm -hmm. the same spelling, W-E-L-A, AXA over the E, mm -hmm. O-U-K-A-A-L-A, AXA, mm -hmm. acute over the E. On the E, on the E. On the E, on the E. Very simple. Moka mm ale -hmm. uh, a la place la. La place la. The market. La I'm going to la the place. market. Moka ale a la place la. And again, it is spelled Exercise. as it is pronounced. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, and Simon, you're right. The ex you have to exercise your the ah. so um 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 physical exercises is necessary in, for you when you when you do culture when you Creole. Mm -hmm. You really have to. It's not yes. English. It's not. Yes. You don't have to have lazy lips or mouth. Creole calls for everything. Yeah. So you do your cardio, cardiovascular. You do your workout. You do your gardening. All of that helps you with Creole. Mm -hmm. And the now, hardest. One, now Celia asks, where can I buy this book? Well, again, as Gregory Abbas and the people, the, the majors of Creole in Dominica. I'm not even sure it's available for sale. No, I don't know. That should be an Amazon. That should be an Amazon, man. I should be able to buy that on Amazon. No, no one time it was out. It was out. And um, um, Jamala's daughter was trying to get some done. So I don't know now what exists in the, in the um, cultural division. But it was out and they were trying to get some more. 
So between the cultural division and Jays, they probably have. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think but, it, it, they're I probably just working on the new one that Greg is doing. I, I have not seen it on Amazon. Yeah. But this one, I would like to have it reprinted. Even if Greg is doing a new one, this one, as is the second edition, should be available. Because if I'm going to teach Korea, yeah. I would like to teach from that. I mean, I could look yeah, at Greg's as well. But we now is... have some new, some new words. Yes. Because but... sometimes there are some words we have to creolize because we don't have a word. We don't have something for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we, right. just, we just got computer, so we, we in our days didn't have computer, so we now have to put a word for a computer mm -hmm. and, so, and so so we need a, 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 another edition mm -hmm. and talking about computer i wouldn't say everything that i know but i know there's a team a group a party who is working on something creole computer app okay. and so i won't say too much Good. but um again we'll see how that works mm -hmm. all right so let's... as we get ready to, to wrap up alex let's let's just do a couple more so let's mm -hmm. see uh, where la mort s'a tapé en l'église? See that, l'église? You have to pull your, your yeah. mouth back church. to say l'église. L'église. Church. church. Where can church. I find a church? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Jordi say un bel jour. Today's a good day. It sounds so much better when you say it, Alex. It really <laughs> no. does. You are no rain. It sounds so much better. Yeah, la pluie a tombé. It's mm -hmm. raining. All right? So, um, again, again, it's just the attitude. You look at the people, the Creole speaker's mouth. And you mm -hmm. cannot forget it. Mm -hmm. You cannot not. You cannot. You shouldn't speak Creole to somebody and look away. Mm -hmm. You really want to see the expression as well. So that helps as well. Um, Simone, to catch mm -hmm. the um, nuances of the language. Um, Norin, the last three words are yours, I guess. Oh boy, hear that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Meaning, how much for that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the more, first more, sentence. More and the first sentence. More more la la ha. Ha. I thought some people say la ha. la ha. Some people say la ha. Yes, some people say la ha, but it's uh, in the according to it's la ja. On pani la ja. And and you 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 making them know it's la ja. What is it? On pani la ja. La ja can't even say lo. It's a full body experience. Oh, so, that, so that is it on lesson yeah. one we dealt with a few simple sentences and we talk about the accentuation of the e the lack of the r the lack of the c we will teach as we go along in terms of how we accentuate the creole we and of course we will get into the days of the week months of the year and the numbers on episode number two of the fundamentals of Creole for beginners. That's the yes, presentation for today. Yes, thank you so much, Alex and Noreen. So again, this was uh, Sasenu presents Palais Creole fundamentals of beginning Creole with um, Alex Bruno and Noreen. Remind me your last name again, Joseph. The, the last time I checked, it was Joseph. <laughs> that's a whole other conversation, Noreen. I know that story. Noreen, Joseph, <laughs> and I'm, I'm Simone Matthew. And again, if you want to follow us at Push Past 10 and click the notification button so you will know the next time that we are live with more Creole lessons and all the other wonderful programming that we offer. As a matter of fact, on Saturday, we're beginning our Christmas celebration, traditional Christmas in Dominica. So we're going to enjoy a little Jingpin music. We're going to have Rasmo come by and give us a little bit of drumming and a little bit of drumming poetry. So I encourage you to follow us and click the notification button so you can know exactly when we are on and you can be part of the celebration. Let's see if anyone is logging in. Oh, as a matter of fact, Dr. Dale Dangoben just logged in. And he says, oh, well, he was, he was answering the question. It's really hot today. And then he say, ma, moi, pa, ni, la, ha, uh, -huh, la, ja. And he says, love it. Celia Douglas also says, nice program. Thanks, everyone. Greetings from Aruba. So we're making the world connection. So we're very happy to be here. Do you guys have any final thoughts before we go? No. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, let me let me let Alex at the, the end of that speak now. So there are more places for me to venir en soirée à leur programme là. Uh, it's very interesting. And then look at my cab and Monday qui is it it can continue. Oui. À la manière qui tout le monde ça fini à bord avec copain, coûte copain avec accompagner la gage. Allez. Yeah, because I think Pali. people shy away from trying to speak because it, it can be uncomfortable 
when yes. you don't think you're getting it right. But it's anything else you try in life. At first, it's not going to be comfortable, but you have mm-hmm. to keep trying. Yeah. Well, Simone, for me, I kind of uh, have done media for so long that I have, have lost the taste to be on as much as I had I, I liked it in the past. Mm-hmm. So I do not readily take on those opportunities. And But for you, I had to come on. And um, for the language, I had to do it. I do not desire to be on doing this perpetually. I only wanted to set the kind of foundation that I believe should be set. Mm-hmm. And from tomorrow, somebody else could take it and run with it. Because I really, I do not want it said that Alex is, you know... I'm getting no, a bit but tired. You know what, you know what, Alex, you're creating the foundation. So we're going to yes. need you for a few more episodes. Yeah. And while we're doing that, hopefully we're getting the exposure and others will be interested in joining us. So yeah. we can just have variety of thoughts. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes but the... we appreciate you being the lead on this uh, yeah. project. And of course, Noreen joining in last minute. And thank you so much, Noreen. Yeah, man. So that is pretty much what it is. I, I, I do it with all humility and with the love that I have for the language. I pass on what my great grandmother, Mama, gave me. Mama was, you know, I of blessed memory. And the secret about my love and appreciation for the elderly is that I see every elderly person in my great grandmother. And I, I, I just feel that when they speak to me, I see her eyes staring at me. So that's the trick behind my love for the centenarians. And um, of course, that was, you know, forget that that's another political thing but yes. um i th- the reason why i do not like media as such as i did in the past is because I, what else to do now yes. you know I, I immerse myself in my little world i do my little book stuff and i just observe the unfoldings and, and on the, the unravelings of our time so yes, i will that. not always be up front that's to nice. to push the mission mm-hmm. i will stay behind simone and push you yes. if you don't mind yes <laughs> and, and i'm not the okay. only one <laughs> push. Push well, I do have I do have a, a book called Push Past Tense. I'm all about pushing, <laughs> but but I'm not the only one who is saying Alex needs to take the lead. Faustin Nixon is watching, and he says Alex is the right man for this. Yeah, that's my schoolmate. Pam, Pam D. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Yes, but there, yes. there's a so lot we'll on my plate. We'll keep it interesting. We'll keep it interesting. There's a lot on my plate, and again, you, some people, Dominicans get tired with you very quickly. So yes. I don't want them to very say Alex is. Uh, no, I want very quickly. <laughs> but you know, but you know, the other you, thing you is, can I don't. You can answer that one. Vit, 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 vit. But yeah. you know, I don't Some people, want us not, to not be, everybody. <laughs> I don't want us to be too short to flam. So if we're starting something, I want to make sure we're going to stick to it because that's another thing that plagues us as lot uh, as well. We get very excited, we start something, oh, no. and then no, then I don't falls by the wayside. No, the soul there will never stop until we're going to teach that entire book mm. page to page, mm-hmm. and by the time we're done, the people who are interested in speaking Creole will be speaking Creole. Just as my student was able to speak fluently Creole and she was, she was an American girl. Mm -hmm. She had never understood Creole. But when we show her the fundamentals, how Creole started, she said, okay. Then she got into it. So by the time we're done with this book, maybe the next, in the next few weeks, maybe three, four months, because I see my takes about three, four months. Yes. We, people who follow this program will be Creole speakers. So, so, so this is, this is your promise to me at the end of this program, I will be fluent. We're going to do the entire show in Creole. Yes. Yes. That's oh, the objective. Good, I'm excited. I'm excited. We'll be speaking Creole fluently within by at, in three, four months. Fluent. Good. If we good. just follow the, 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 the routine. Um, that we are we are on, but it will take a little while, not not a week, not two weeks, but at least a semester. You should be done with um in terms of your speaking. Your well, well, speaking. I'm certainly looking forward to that. And before we log off, just one of the quick observations. Celia Douglas says, "By the way, my grandma turned 100 years on the 23rd of November. Her name is Omancia Lavanier of Grand mm. Bay." Happy wow. birthday, Mrs. Lavanier, and congratulations on being a centenarian. Wow. Yeah, man. So yeah, man. Happy yeah, birthday. Much. Happy birthday to her. And maybe she lived for another 100 years. Yes, yes, certainly. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you for being here. And I look forward to seeing everyone back on next, um, next week. We'll figure out which day works best. And we will take it from there. So have a good evening, everyone. Yeah, cheers. Have a cheers. good one, too. Bye-bye. Right, thank Au you. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>